I tried to record this video once before, I got the whole way through. Turns out the camera corrupted midway through, so I've only got half the file. Ah, technology. So this is my beautiful new journal, and in it I wrote 20 goals for 2020, which I thought I would share with you because I think it's nice to lead by example. Uh, I don't know, like, yeah, just I'm interested in what other people's goals are, so I thought you might be interested in mine. The first thing I want to do in 2020 is read 20 books. I thought 20 was an apt number. I'll be honest, since Banging Book Club ended, I've read one book, two books this year, one, one book. I've read Gut by, I can't remember who, but as you can imagine, <laughs> it's about gut health, or I'm halfway through Becoming by Michelle Obama, which I'm super excited for, but I'm only halfway through. That's embarrassing. I need to up my game. I love reading, reading's amazing. My next goal is to go to Meeting once a month. If you don't know, Meeting for Worship is Quaker Church, effectively, and you sit in silence for an hour and you can minister if you feel moved by the spirit. I don't know if that <laughs> means anything to anyone, but basically I find Meeting really peaceful. A lot of the time it's complete silence and stillness and a time to reflect and think. I find that really useful. So once a month. The aim is once a month. The next goal is to write one song a month. I don't know if you've watched me for a while, you might know this, but I've written songs since I was about 11. It's one of the most therapeutic things and my favourite creative outlet out of all of them. But following my last breakup, I haven't really written anything. So I'm like determined. I want to get back on the writing songs wagon. The next one is a work goal. I want to take all 28 days of paid leave off of work. That might sound really silly, but um, I only took two bank holidays this year and it's the first time I've taken bank holidays ever. It's really hard for some reason to organise your time as a freelancer. Like everything is very erratic. So I'm really trying to work out how I can embrace it being erratic while also making space for myself and setting boundaries. And I think trying to take 28 days off of like off off, there are like not many middle grounds, no like half flogging, none of that. I do want 28 days of mental free off work. <laughs> I want to write in my journal once a week. I think this is pretty standard and I've actually already basically started doing it. I just want to be more regular, more good. I love this baby. This baby is my favourite. I will get more use out of you, I promise. You'll notice a lot of these are like wellness lifestyle goals because at the moment that's the thing that always falls behind with me. So the next one is to maintain my exercise one to two times a week. When I wrote this I was exercising one to two times a week. This past month has been so, so busy in terms of I've been trying to do a lot, a lot of work before I take my month off, which I'm taking next week. Woo! So <laughs> I've been pre-filming and editing loads. I have not exercised for basically the past month. Oops. But I'll get back on it in January. If you don't know, I use a service called ClassPass. I think it's amazing. It's perfect for people like me, non-committal exercisers who enjoy classes. I'll leave a link down there where you can get 40 quid off, not spawn, just I love it. And just for transparency, I think I get like £40 off as well if you do it. £40 off a month I should add. I'm not getting like 300 credits. It doesn't work like that. So 40 quid's a free trial. Definitely would highly, highly recommend. I know it's in the US and the UK, probably Australia as well. I want to go to Paris with Jack. Jack's my boyfriend. I love him very much and for some reason we haven't been to Paris. I would love, 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 love to go to Paris so much with him. I love Paris, he loves Paris. Why have we not done it? The next one's intense. I want to sort out my pension and start saving smart. I have not got a pension yet. Well, that's kind of true. I've got like the pension my parents set up which isn't in the best state and I need to start paying into something. When you're freelance, you have to do it all yourself. Fine by me, but I it's quite confusing. So I'm gonna seek out some financial advice and start saving properly as well. I would love to buy a house in the next three or four years. I've been saving, but my savings have not been organized. I want organized high interest savings and I want to have a pension. Goals, hashtag goals. The next one might be the hardest one I can do, which is to kick my phone addiction, especially in the mornings, which I've underlined. I have a really bad habit at the moment of waking up and just looking at my phone for an hour. It's not healthy, it's not good for me, it puts me in this weird lull and I think it's why my eyes have got worse. So to distance myself from my phone and reduce my screen time to like two to three hours a day, at the moment it's at like six or seven hours a day because I just put videos on in the background while I'm doing work, I put podcasts on and forget to shut the, shut the screen down. Yeah, I just need to work on being 
better. Okay, this one might not happen because I wrote these about a month ago and I didn't think it through thoroughly, but I really want to visit Tokyo and Seoul so, so desperately. I think they're so cool. But next year is the Olympics in Japan and I just think it'll be super expensive probably not the best time to go, should probably save it till next year when all the infrastructure is in place and it's a lot cheaper. I want to go back to therapy. I'm already looking into some people who I could go and see. I'd like to start soon. I've just noticed like my sad periods are getting longer. My anxiety is getting worse, specifically related to traveling. I don't understand how you can get more anxious <laughs> instead of less anxious when nothing seems to have happened to trigger it. But here I am, I find car journeys, bus journeys, and flights really, really stressful, more so than I ever have before in my life. And I think it's time <laughs> I sort it out, and I think this is the first step. This one might sound a bit weird, but I want to go to four protests or more. I think a lot of people will hear that and be like, why have you given yourself an arbitrary number about activism? That's so weird. But I was thinking that basically it sets a goal and a standard which I want to attain and then I can potentially go over and do above and beyond and all the work in amongst those four protests if that's what I end up doing. When I was younger I went to so many protests, not so many, but as a teenager I went to a bunch. It was something I really valued in my life, it gave me like some purpose and um, I think there's a lot to fucking protest right now <laughs> and I need to make my voice heard offline as well as online. This year I went to two protests and I think they were both about Brexit so I'm doubling, doubling what I was doing this year. The next one is again music related. I want to make a demo this year. I did a Logic Pro production course um, just because it's a software I've always wanted to learn. It's also part of my um, 30 goals before 30 which I did two years ago. I watched it back and I was like I now know how to use Logic Pro, how exciting. But I haven't made anything on it yet. So I just want to make something to show myself I can do it. Keep my plants alive. I kill everything I touch it seems. And I've just killed one of my favorite snake plants. It's not a snake plant, is it? I've killed a rubber plant. It just doesn't like me anymore. And I need to work out how to be better. I need to be a better plant mum. Also, I can't get a dog until I'm a good plant mum. I want to start another element to my job. And that could be maybe uh, another series of Sunday Social, something podcasty, a different project, something like product based. I don't really know yet. I've been thinking about it for a while. It could be something completely different. I could start a radio show. I don't know. But I, I'm just trying to think of something that I would find an alternative to creating online uh, on YouTube and on my blog and on the gram. Something a bit more substantial that takes a bit more time and is more of a project. I'd really love to do something like that next year. Okay, sorry about that. I just collected my Leon. I ordered food. I don't normally order lunch, especially, let alone dinner, but I've been working all day today and I could really do with some food. Okay, the next one is a sustainability one. I would like to halve the plastic packaging in my weekly shop by the end of 2020. This is, just involves research, it involves trying different places. I currently am getting a veg box every week, but it's not the most practical for me personally. I'm between two flats all the time, uh, mine and my boyfriend's flat. So it's just like, I bring over leeks and I'm like, let's cook these and this butternut squash I have and these Brussels sprouts. It's just not that practical. Um, so I need to find more places where I can bulk buy, places where I can get veg without packaging. Um, in my local area or delivered and yeah, I'll work it out. The next one is to do a short course in something creative. I d seem to do a course every year now, only a short one. It just makes me feel fulfilled. It makes me challenge myself a bit more and helps me learn new skills. I'm thinking maybe life drawing this time around, something art based, because I've done very technology based ones the past two years. Okay, the next one is one that I need to do and I just don't want to, which is to learn to drive. I just, while I'm living in London, I just don't want to learn. I'm scared of cars and being in cars at the moment. So the idea that learning to drive could help obviously blows my little anxious mind, but it probably will help and I probably should try it. So I've got all the like theory books. I'm gonna try and get my provisional. Obviously you can just apply for a provisional, but you know, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take some lessons. I don't want to, but it's something I should learn to do. Something that freaks me out a bit is that my mum uh, did all of her lessons, booked her test, but then didn't take her test because she finds driving so scary. My auntie Adele's the same, Nana's the same, Paul's the same. So 
I'm a bit worried that I'm going to be sucked into this hereditary narrative in my own brain. Hopefully I will learn to drive next year. I want to grow my subscribers and my views. I never thought I would set a goal like this because YouTubing has always come really naturally to me and I've just gone, you know, whatever, I'll make whatever I want, da 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 da. But actually I want the challenge of trying to grow. I think my subscribers have leveled out to a nice point um, since I gained like 150K in one month, two years ago, and it just sets everything off balance basically. So I, I'm glad some of those people have unsubscribed, but now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to reach new people. How do I reach new people? My final goal is to sort out my contraceptive method and find the right one for me because I've been on Yasmin, my pill, for since I was 17. So six or seven years, it's been great, it's worked, which is the important thing, and it's given me very few side effects. However, it is a more dangerous pill to be on for a long amount of time. It can increase your risk in blood clots, of blood clots, in fact. And also, it's it does have some side effects that aren't great for me, and I do think as well, because last time I came off it, it wrecked havoc with my body. Like, I broke out in these huge sores across my face. My moods were very scary. I've talked a bit about it online, but yeah, it was all quite scary. And I just think, like, I should probably look into finding something that, for when I do want to come off my contraception, and when I do want to get pregnant, which is nowhere near now, not soon at all, but when I do want to do those things, I should be able to do them without worrying. And at the moment, the idea of ever coming off Yasmin is terrifying. I'm gonna look into some other options, see what's about, see what I can do, and hopefully switch my contraception. Do you like my YouTube flask? YouTube gave it to me at a workshop the other day, and I was like, another water bottle? <laughs> you shouldn't have. But it's actually a real banger. It's got that fun straw. And so my friends, those are my 20 goals for 2020. Thank you so much for joining me in this journey. I hope you had a lovely new year and a lovely Christmas. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I'm not actually sure when I'll see you. This is being pre-filmed. I'm currently on my month off. Woo! <laughs> Having a wild old time, I'm sure. Thanks so much for being patient with me. I will see you probably in a week or two. Goodbye.